Don Willis leaves Detroit Review celebrating low down milestones. Don Willis has performed with or produced many musical legends, including Bob Dylan, Mavis Staples, The Rolling Stones and Rainbow Star. But the Detroit race sonic craftsman feels like an apprentice again when it comes to diving into the musicianship of the Motown sound. The basis, Grammy-winning producer and president of the Blue Nose Jazz label is particularly enthralled with the vast plane of late Motown son's brother James Jamerson as was prepared. For his next big day, the 12th son was Detroit All-Star Review. The concert on July 13th at the Detroit Institute of Art aims to celebrate the record company founded in Detroit 50 years ago and includes classic Motown artists Marguerite, Carolyn Crawford and The Bootleg. As time goes by, I appreciate those records more and more, and as I get deeper into the nuances of playing bass, James Jamerson blows me away more than ever. Now, Will said by phone from his Southern California office. I started writing out the charts for what we're doing, and he's an absolute genius. There was no one who ever played that way before. Helping to capture some of that Motown house and magic is another of the Suns brothers, the colored Jenny's Coffee, and one of his bringing long members of his own gender embracing, born in Detroit fans, well, not well. The review, that is part of the 27th annual concert of Colors of Free, multi-day festival showcasing Detroit's musical and ethnic diversity often features Motown songs. But Will says he likes the unified musical theme running through the review and the way the musicians are approaching and interpreting the classic. He is not giving away the cellist that Cronus is well known, cruising tunes from the era. So one, might experience figuratively, if not literally dancing in the street when Reese takes the stage. The idea is not to play, Thrayo's Motown. It is to slide into the mindset of the people who made the original record, Will said. No one is going to be reading the charts. We are going to try to be the thing. Wes said the concerts are always just the right amount of messy and rockish and fun, but he is careful to keep the commitment and authenticity level high because Detroit audience is expected. He gets back to the area a few times a year and gets a dose of reality. There is no point in putting on any airs in Detroit. People see right through you, he said. The music reflects that. That is why the music from Detroit resonates all over the world. Related stories, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.